Alpha Bravo Niner, this is Wolf, Wolf Mother. Uh, what's hand in Wolf Pack? You're gonna wanna get down here and see this. In fact, bring a big, bring a big backup. Yeah, bring in the big gun. I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into the news! You fucking nigger! I swear to fuck! <laughs> Go back, 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 back. Yeah, dude. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another legit rat review. On today's episode, we're going to check out a channel that's uh, best known for the phrase NIGGER! Uh, another gem includes, Hey, everyone type Alex is a stupid nigger in chat. Now, uh, I'm not going to be using any of these classic lines as uh, argument points in this video. Instead, I'm going to use them for comedic relief. There are plenty of other things to insult the rat for. He's manipulative, cunty, hypocritical, makes horrible content, extremely unfunny, cringy. It, it's kind of like picking on Tommy NC, really. It's kind of like picking on an autistic kid. I mean, wouldn't you agree, Keemstar? The reason why the autistic kid... Tell the autistic kid that I'm bullying him. You told an autistic dude. You took advantage of an autistic kid. You took advantage of an autistic kid. And you took advantage of an autistic kid. I've never said anything about the autistic kid. About the autistic kid at all! Retard. And I looked at all the backlash that Leafy got for making fun of Tommy and see, I don't want any part of that. 
So uh, I'm not making fun of an autistic kid. I'm instead making fun of a retarded adult. I'm so excited. If you really want the epitome of sensitivity, you gotta look toward Keemstar's Twitter videos, because this dude is the most sensitive man on the planet. Take, for example, this individual. He barely criticized Keemstar. In fact, he was sucking Keemstar's dick for half the time. He isn't the nicest guy on the internet, but he's the most realist. You know, he'll tell you how it is, whether you like that or not. The only criticism was, I think Keemstar should put a disclaimer in his videos. What I think Keem should have done in that video is gave some kind of disclaimer. And what did Keemstar do upon hearing this this awful criticism? That dude is a fake piece of shit. Learn it. You're a fake piece of shit, and if you fucking swing at me, I'm gonna swing much harder back. Come at me, I'm gonna fucking smack you. Fuck Pyro, you fucking loser. Oh my god, the world's gonna end. Someone made a video about me. Oh god. Even though I have a thousand videos on the internet of me saying, NIGGER, I'm gonna cry over this video. Oh, Keemstar. Oh, that dude's a savage. Don't, don't get on his radar, dude. You're gonna be fucked. Keemstar, you are an absolute pussy, in every way imaginable. He's a very rash decision maker, and he'll just say something before he even thinks about it. He has no filter, he'll just do it. And this has resulted in countless examples of him saying really regrettable shit. Total Biscuit, can't wait to report on your death. Hmm, can't wait to report your death! <laughs> this Twitch streamer is a pedophile. So this leads to his timeline being jam-packed of borderline hypocritical dumb shit. Anyone that has a YouTube channel and finds the need to tell their subscribers how to fucking think and how to act must have subscribers that are little, little children, all right? must have subscribers that are little fucking children. I don't think he's a hypocrite for doing it at all. I just think that he's dumb as a stump. I treat my subs with respect that they can have any fucking opinion they want. I don't need to tell them what to do, tell them what to say, tell them how to act. I want their opinion. So Toby Turner hasn't uploaded in weeks. Anyone know why? Probably fucking some kid. I want their opinion. Probably fucking some kid. There are a lot of reasons to call Keemstar a hypocrite. I'm going to focus on one reason, the reason that I find most compelling. My objective isn't go destroy their life on Dromler. I don't use my platform that way. You know how they've been contacting me saying that you've been dating some like 14 year old French girl and shit? Just please swing at me. If you're gonna swing at me, swing at me, dude. Let me know because I got a fucking files on top of files to swing back at. I don't use my platform that way. I don't use my platform that way. I don't use my platform that way. Because I got a fucking files on top of files to swing back at. Well, that was extremely blatant. You said you don't use your platform that way, but then you threatened to use your platform that way. But I dubs. The Keemstar Twitter account and Drama Alert are two separate entities. I try to keep my show fair and balanced, but on Twitter, I'm gonna give my opinion. I heard you're a pedophile. 14-year-old French girl? Mm, pedophile. I, I have the taste of pedophile come in my mouth. I'm on the hunt. I hit a pyro in the DMs. I'm like, is this true? He says it's not true. He gives me some stuff. All right, and I don't run the story. I talked to Pyro and he gave me some stuff and we hashed it out. It's no longer news. It's no longer going to become news because I deemed it not news. If it was someone I disliked, guess what? That's news. <laughs> On his Twitter, he will constantly allude to people being guilty or innocent or not guilty, depending on whether they go onto his show or not. Keemstar, I know you're very fucking slow. I said elude. Y your, your hand is fucking shaking right now because you really want to do a Twitter video and say, Dude, you got to think about this logically. The only time some big YouTuber wants to come on Drama Alert is to clear their name because they're in the right, right? And the only time like a small YouTuber wants to come on is they want to come on like no matter what because they're about to get a lot of exposure. Dude, you got to think about this logically. Okay, Keemstar, I'm thinking about it logically. You want big YouTubers to come onto your program after you harass them on Twitter, so how are you going to get them to come on your program? Oh, I know. You suggest that if they don't come on your program, 
They're not innocent. The situation turns out where a big YouTuber comes on because he's innocent. Of course, that's just part one. We gotta think about the second part logically as well. If you are a small YouTuber, you're gonna get a big fucking sub boost from it. And guess what? I won't let you fucking forget it. I will hold that shit over your head. If, if you fucking blink in my direction, I'm gonna hold that shit over your head. At the end of the day, dude, like, it's like I had this dude on my show, he got a huge sub boost from Drumler when he had way less subscribers. The fucking thing with Sam Pepper, I helped him with that thing. His fucking Twitter gets suspended. I tried to help him get his Twitter unsuspended and I helped him make a new Twitter and promote it. He has this really immature technique for insulting people. He will insult them while simultaneously putting himself up on a pedestal. And honestly, oh, Rich, stop. if you were if you're going through financial problems, you could have DM me and said, Kim, yo, Kim give Kim, me some money. Yo, 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 that's not the point. He could have reached point. out to me. If, Rich, if you are going through money problems, you could have reached out to me and I would have helped you like I've helped so many other people. <laughs> Dude, come on. You could have DM me and said, look, I'm going through financial your money. problems I don't right need now. your I would have helped him. I would have helped him. Need your money. Next time I mean, you have money problems, don't don't use me, don't manipulate me for your own agenda. You can just DM me. And dude, stop me. with the money problems. You I'm don't know. Saying, I don't have a financial situation. If that's you just had like a, financial a situation, dude. That's a low. That's help, an immature, low blow them. thing to say. I would have helped him. How's that immature? Yeah. How's it low? I would have helped you. I didn't realize you were a poor, disgusting piece of shit. You should just come to me for some money. I would have helped you. I would have helped you, dumbass. I'm a, I'm a helpful guy. Keem the helping hand. No helping hand mentions how much they help people that much. That is a slimy asshole thing to do. Well, I guess this is the drama alert effect. <laughs> Are you seeing this shit right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Keemstar. I'm, I'm seeing this shit right now. It's fucking funny, dude. Now that's the drama alert effect. Up top, my brother. You mean that thing that happens when any big YouTuber features a small YouTuber on their channel? Of course you know that. You're just really trying to solidify the fact that this was a helping hand. Don't insult me. Please don't insult me, because I will fucking cry about it on Twitter. I report the news. I don't create the news, but from like... A news standpoint, people are so annoying when you the do news. news. We're news? the goddamn news. The news is my news. job. The news to report. The news. 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 The news news and hard-hitting reporting. However, one is run by a complete sociopath and the other is also run by the same complete sociopath. So what you have is this conflict of ideas where he's trying really hard to not give his opinion on the Drama Alert channel, however, he can't fucking help it. This First. is the problem with fake pranks on YouTube. I gotta say this, all right? I gotta say this, all right? But all I'm saying is, but all I'm saying is, is like, if I had to label someone that is a cunt. Now, I don't give my opinions on Drama Alert. In fact, that's the reason why my show is so successful, is because we don't bombard you with opinions. This is really where Keemstar's retardation is highlighted, right? Because he has the potential to criticize people, and also be in the right. And I'm trying to stay biased because I'm the news guy, just trying to get you the information, but this is bullshit. You can easily brand Drama Alert as the biased news station. You can brand Drama Alert as the very opinionated news station. I think the best part about all this Drama Alert content is that he'll overhype it by screaming like a fucking ape on his Twitter videos. Keemstar always overhypes his videos before he puts them out. No, I fucking don't. Dude, watch tonight's drama alert and tell me if I overhyped it. Trust me, this shit is fucking fire. Yeah, that's yeah, that's it. Okay. That's uh, That's crazy. That's crazy. Tell me if I overhyped it. Trust me, this shit is fucking fire. I just filmed Leafy and the dog fucker. I am dying. I am fucking dying. It will be live on YouTube in about an hour and a half. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess we can make it work out if she's willing to do hamsters. I'm just like not really a dog's person, you know? I am dying. I am fucking dying. <laughs> 
small. Here's stuff. one awesome example of some, some content day, creation yeah. from Drama Alert. A 20 minute narration of a Tumblr work. post. Was nope, there's uh, nothing the to supplement this woman, audio. It's literally 20 minutes, and uh, it's really 20 minutes of ad that revenue. That, that's serious. its only purpose. How to spot a serial killer. Criminologists reveal five key traits the most notorious murderers have in common. Power junkie. I got a fucking files on top of files to swing back at. A manipulator. The only time some big YouTuber wants to come on Drama Alert is to clear their name because they're in the right. An egotistical bragger. Drama Alert is a dope ass show. I make dope ass videos. Cause my show is dope. Retweet if you love that shit. A superficial charmer. And I know there's been a lot of people in the past and there will be a lot of people in the future that go with a certain network because I'm with that certain network and they're influenced by that. So I need to make sure that network's not just good for me, but good for them too. An average Joe. Call me Big Pop, but throw your hands in the air if you a true player. Seems like he shares a lot of traits with serial killers. Now, I'm not ready to call him a serial killer just yet. I think he can change, but he needs to listen to some of the tips and tricks I offered in this video. <laughs> Nothing like a good friend. Keemstar knows all about friends. He's got a lot of friends. He's got a lot of friends because he's done stuff for all his friends. They were chatting in the DMs. They were friends. And the most critical point to us being friends is the fact that I helped you in some way. That means that we're friends. Fake like they act like you're a friend or whatever. You're talking in DMs. Apparently, I heard Leafy was trying to help H3 out, get sponsorships, help him with network and all this stuff. They were friends. They were talking in the DM. In this video, you're laughing about <laughs> Nick saying that about my kid. And you're supposed to be my friend, okay? I've got you sponsorship I'm deals. Friend, I'm talking still. I'm talking still. You're supposed to be my friend. I have you channel boxed, right? You, I've helped you grow, all right? I've helped you I, out. I it wouldn't surprise me if Keemstar thought him and I were friends. You know, just because I follow him back on Twitter, he's probably thinking, uh, iDubs referred to me as Buddy in the DMs. He must, he must be my friend. So if he ever makes a video on me, I'm going to say, we were friends. We were supposed to be friends. We were never friends, cunt. I I'm not going to give you my hand in the Twitter DMs and say, by the way, I'm working on a video. You mind not deleting the shitty tweets that you post every single day? Because I need to collect a big fucking timeline of your god-awful hypocrisies and dumb shit that you post. Since Keemstar doesn't mind showing Tumblr posts and Twitter DMs as news, he shouldn't mind me showing our private Twitter conversation where he says he'd ruin my career if he didn't love my content. Wow, you love my content, Keemstar. Maybe we are friends. Maybe we are friends after all. You like the, the hour-long green alien dance? You like Slenderman Gangnam style, dude? You like Overgrowth Let's Play? Oh, but that neglects the part where you say that you'll ruin my career. Oh, you'll ruin my career, Keemstar. Good fucking luck. You're not gonna ruin my career, you dumb piece of shit. And I've shown you why you're not gonna ruin my career. I'm smarter than you, you can't think before you speak, and I've never said this unironically, but I think this will be the first time I actually say it unironically and mean it. Kill yourself. Normally, Keemstar would put big-time criminals like you in jail, but I have a different plan for you, Keem Cunt. Any last words, Keemstar? Drama Alert Nation, now over 1,386,000! Somebody once told me that I could make some money By bullying some people online So I grew a gnome goatee and put on a stupid beanie And started making up some dank lies So I'm making death threats and I'm calling people nigger Counting that cash on my channel's growing bigger Never you mind that I was already banned From my racist, homophobic, hate speech rants Found a loophole, now it's my goal Two boys in the online punch bowl You never know who are my docs So y'all can suck on my cocks Hey now, you're a keen star Get your hat on, MLG Hey now, you're a keen star Get your socio path 
healthy and all we care about is news. Personal attacks and harassment is totally new. Like, I literally want to kill this dude. It's not a threat, it's a promise. I want to fucking kill this dude. Oh, fucking righteous fucking nigger, Alex, is doing this shit. Hmm, can't wait to report your death. <laughs> like, seriously, what's wrong with you, asshole? Everybody type in the chat, Alex is a stupid nigger. I only do this show for money. That's it, all right? I don't do it to entertain people. That's just a fucking scam. I really hope you die of cancer. I hate every single one of you. Fuck the fan. Hey now, you're a keem star. Do a trick shot. MLG. Hey now, you're a keem star. Eat your popcorn. Go tea. And all I report is the news. If you can call this news. Somebody once asked, could you spare me from harassment? Your content is a fucking disgrace. I said, yep, and to save my rep, I'm gonna bully you until you're dead. I'll punch you harder than my girlfriend's face. Well, the hate keeps coming for the show where I'm running. Even if I get banned, I'll just keep on coming. Doesn't make sense to give up this shtick. I make mad money from being a dick. For revenue stream, it is my dream to take online gossip to the extreme. I'm a sociopath, don't you know? I'll do anything for a little low. Hey now, you're a keem star. Get your keem on, keem star. Hey now, you're a keem star. You're an asshole, keem star. So you know, retard, you just made yourself look like a retard to try to win some contest, idiot. You weren't even there. Idiot. <laughs> Jarrett Fugel. April Elf. Yogg's Adventures. It's a fucking Ambio. I have an Ambio collection.